Okay guys, today I'm gonna to be talking about the Fisher Price 2-in-1 Sit to Stand Activity Center. To jump right into this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys know I'm gonna be doing a lot more baby reviews, so if you guys have anything in particular that you'd like to see, be sure to thumb this video up and let me know down below what you'd like to see. So, first things first, this is a two-in-one, which basically means that this product does two things in one piece. So, as you can see here, there's a seat. Your baby can sit in this. This will spin around so your baby can see each and every um, thing on the, um, the, the activity center. And this thing can also come out later, which you will see in a second. I'll show you what that looks like as well. So, you can do two things with this as your baby grows. So you're not just stuck with something that your baby could use for only a few months and then it's just sitting in your basement or sitting in your attic and you don't have anything to do with it. So I really like that about this. This does retail for um, $79.99 on Target's website. It has five stars and it's 91 reviews. So it's an amazing product just by the reviews you can tell. I love this baby product so much and I'm gonna tell you why and explain a little bit more about it. Um, just a few more things. I'm gonna go into detail on all of the toys and what they do and their features and stuff like that. So here is the four first toy right here. This is a little, um, I guess you would call this like bug area. This is a little butterfly, a ladybug, and then a bee. And I think this is so cute. I'm telling you guys, this, this activity center is just the cutest with the toys that they have. So you can pick this up and it has a ball on the um, other side and then the little face and then the ball actually fits into that area. So your baby kind of has to figure out how to put this in there the correct way and I feel like that produces such great fine motor skills again cute little face little ball and these can just flat, lay flat like this they're attached to the little string and then you can just put them right in there and I think that this is this is such a cute feature with the little felt little grass here and I just think it's adorable and then to the side here um, they have uh, four of these little stick things that you can pick this up you just squeeze these little things, pull it up, and that is how you take it out or take it off if you need to wash it or whatever the case may be. So the petals um, here, the leaves are like spinning around, and then it has this little bee, and this one doesn't really do much. This does spin. I guess it's something for your baby to look at, which I think is cute. And then on this side here, um, it does the same thing with pulling this up and putting it back down. Like I said, on the other side, you just squeeze here pull it up and then you can go ahead and put it back in the same way. So this does have leaves again, um, little green leaves so you can feel those and then this ball twirls which is nice. I think that that's, we have a little helper here. <laughs> so the ball twirls and baby can play with that. Maverick hasn't really gotten to, into that yet so um, I'm going to show you the toy that he really does like though. So this is one that he really does like. This is a little seesaw that your little baby can just touch and it, one go this way, one go this way. He doesn't really understand the concept of like pushing one side and it go down and then pushing the other side it go down. Um, but it's just so adorable. These little animals, probably can't see. Okay, there you go. These little animals are just the cutest. I'm telling you, the details that they put into this is amazing. Now, I will show you his favorite toy and I'm just gonna turn it around so you can actually see it this way. I'll take it off. Um, it's a little mirror here and it's a toucan in a hot air balloon basically that's what this is and I just think this is so adorable he just sits and stares at himself um, in the mirror and like I said this goes right in this you pull it will not come off so I, I noticed some other products um, similar to this I've heard on the reviews that they pull the baby will pull and then the, the thing will just come right off and then it's just kind of pointless for them to be able to play with it so I do like that about this now we're gonna go ahead to this one which is another Another huge feature that I think a lot of babies are gonna love. So here is the little alligator. Its little face is right here and it has a little smiley face. This is where the speaker comes. So this is where the speaker is. This is where the noise comes out. The eyeballs. It has these little um, tiles here like it's like a little piano. It has this little um, tail that can actually move as well. So they, I, I honestly feel like they really put a lot into like thinking about the whole toy. Not just one part of the toy. Not just this piano. They actually put things inside of everything. Like they didn't have to put the speaker here but they did. So you're going to be able to like hear it a lot better than rather being like on the outside or anything like that. The controls are over here which I also do like because um, mom and dad or whoever's taking care of baby can control these. They're on the side. Obviously your little six month old baby isn't going to stick their finger in there and turn it if it was on this side. But I do feel like that's a nice feature to have it right here. So wait a second. We're going to show them in a minute, okay? So like I said, this tail, your baby can twist. If that's what your baby's into, then awesome because I'm telling you, these this, this, this toy is promoting fine motor skills so, so well. 
So let's go ahead and get into the features. So it has off, which is this little circle, um, sound, and then loudest sound. So we're gonna put it on the loudest sound setting. And then we have over here, which is the single music note, and then the, um, I forget what this is called, music glass, help me. Um, you guys know what this is. <laughs> the double music note, I guess you could say. Um, so we're gonna put it on the single. And Kate, if you wanna go ahead and press one of the pianos, which color do you wanna choose? I wanna choose this one. Okay, go ahead, press it. So, as you can see, it's on single. So when he presses one, oh, there you go. Okay, so when he presses one, it's just gonna play a ding and then a song. It's not gonna do the whole shabazz, there we go. So your baby's gonna be surprised each time. So they're gonna press it, they're gonna think, oh, that's nice, it lights up and makes a noise. But then it's gonna go, you know, that. So your baby's gonna go, whoa, and be more, you know, intrigued and excited by it. So, okay, here we are. We're gonna put it on the loudest one. Go ahead and press one of the buttons. Press this one or this okay, one. Okay, go ahead, press it, press one. There we go. So see, he only pressed one button and it's actually doing a whole song now instead of just, you know, pressing it and just making a ding and then a little melody. This is gonna do a whole song. And I could sit here for a few minutes, guys, and let you hear this, but it goes on. It keeps going. It doesn't just stop, it keeps going. So that could be annoying for some parents. Sometimes I do just click it off when, you know, I don't want to, when I'm busy or doing something that I, I need to be on the phone or something like that. Whatever the case may be, I do turn it off sometimes. But when I want him to play with this and he's loving it, I let him and he loves this thing. It plays and plays and plays and he just watches the lights and he'll, you know, just bang it and it's just the cutest thing ever. So I really, really love this little alligator. It's, it's one of my favorite features along with the um, little toucan in the hot air balloon. <laughs> okay, so let's get on to the last two toys um, and then I'll tell you a little bit more uh, things about this, which is a ne the next feature that I think you guys are gonna love. So here is a giraffe. He is in a um, airplane and it has a little uh, you know spinner here and this little cloud that spins as well. And again, you can do the same thing as you do on all the other four that do that. And he can just spin this around. I just think it's so cute. Again, these little animals are the cutest and just, you know, it teaches your baby, you know, this is an airplane. You can teach your baby this is a hot air balloon, you know. As they definitely get older, you can definitely imply that in this toy. Okay, so this is the last toy that is featured on this. And this is an elephant. He's basically shooting out water, if you can tell, from his trunk, which I didn't get, I didn't catch on to this actually as fast as I should, but it's shooting out water and it has these little fish right here that go up and down. You wanna show them? Go ahead. Okay. Good boy. So it has these little colored fish and they go up and down. And then it has this yellow fish here that can go click and make these noises and your baby can push this. Now Maverick hasn't really gotten into this yet just because he is still only six months, like I said. So he doesn't really understand this yet. I feel like as he gets older, he definitely will understand how to push and pull back and forth and put these up and down. But right now it's kind of just something cute for him to look at. And like I said, um, your baby can see all of this stuff because this seat spins around. So it's a 360, your baby can spin, 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 and they can definitely see all of this. And he's learning how to do that as well, but he does have help from Big Brother that can also help him. He'll spin him sometimes in this, which he likes and also Maverick likes. So let me go ahead and show you how to get this seat off and how to put it back on really quickly and really okay. easily. So we flipped this seat over. As you can see, like I said, it spins. Um, there is this little thing here that shows you how to take it in and out. Um, so we're just gonna pop this up like this. You just push up on this. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, sorry. So, oop, scratching the floor. Okay, hold on. So you just pop it up like that, and then you see the little latches that right here? You're gonna just pop those off as well. So hold on a second, let me see if I can do this for you without dropping my camera. There we go, popped off, done, in and out. You're simple as can be, okay? And then I'm gonna show you, once you pop that off, it has this little thing here, you can pull these off and throw this in the washer. So if your baby spits up, if your baby gets some food on it, whatever the case may be, you can take this right off, pop it in the washer, and then pop it right back on, and your baby's good to go. It's not It's not this difficult thing that you have to like figure out. So you put this aside, and then you have this empty hole, but I'm gonna show you what's gonna go in this empty hole, and you guys are gonna freak, so guys, okay? I bet you guys were probably thinking that it had something to do with putting something there where that belonged. So there is this little thing here, and again, and on the bottom it has instructions so what you're gonna do is take the seat out and you're going to put this in so I'm gonna show you how to do that right now basically you're taking the seat out 
and then you have this thing right here. You're gonna put that back in right here. So it looks like that now. Now you're gonna go ahead and take this and there's a little notch thing right there. There's a, the, the notch that you put inside of there. So you put that in and it clicks into place. Now you have this that can spin around as well. And Cade, go ahead and you wanna demonstrate and show them how to do it? Go ahead, put your car up and see it go down. Ooh, and then it goes down. And I think this is so adorable. My son is four and he is having fun with this. So this is something that your baby can grow with. As I said, you don't want a product that you're just gonna put your baby in for a few months and then you have to store it away and you get no fun out of it. So I really do love this, fa um, this feature about it and I just think it's so cute. I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, another feature that you can go ahead and do. So, so as I said before, you guys know I love these little things that you can take off. You can take it off and put it up here. So you have a little thing that you can also add to the top of this, whichever one of these you want though. Like I said, you can take this one off, put it up there. You can take that one off, put it up there. It's whatever you want. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the ramp off. All I'm gonna do is put this over push this out, really simple, pop it out. You press this little button here and it pulls this and then you just pop it out of here. So all you're gonna do is pop, push it up. So that little blue thing does that. And Cade, you can take that. Here is the spin, the wheels that make this spin. And then here it is, I'm gonna show you how to put the seat back on for your younger baby to sit in. And like I said, if you're washing this, if you your baby spit up or whatever the case may be, this is how you would put the seat back on. So it has these little flaps, literally takes no time to do. So freaking easy. Now your seat is ready to just literally watch this. Ready? Clicked in, you're spinning, you're having fun, you're back to what your baby needs to do and voila, super, super, super simple guys.